So today we're going to go over the alkylating the beta carbon, which really kind of deals with 17.9 um, if you're following along in Bruce. So the beta carbon, so here's our carbonyl, that makes this the alpha carbon, and this is the beta carbon. Now typically, these would be very non-acidic protons. However, um, it would be because they're so far away from this little electron withdrawing group. However, the fact that we have got a conjugated system here means that we've got some more delocalization, so that does make this a little more acidic, so we can actually do some chemistry there. So let's say there's some nucleophile in the presence of an acid, and um, we have a reaction take place. One of two things can happen. So the first, we'll just label this one, uh, the nucleophile can add right here at the carbon. Okay, so that's where something like that could go, and, and you see for nucleophile. And the second place that it could go is here at the beta carbon. Add a nucleophile there. And that's the second thing that can happen. This first thing would be considered a direct addition, and the second thing here would be what's known as a conjugate addition. And this is the one we're going to focus on, the conjugate addition. Okay, so um, here is a what's called a Michael reaction, named for Michael, and I'm just going to say that's me, because I'm Michael. And uh, <clears throat> the Reaction goes as follows. We've got a uh, conjugated system here where we've got a beta carbon, and we've got this uh, species right here. So the, uh, the thing that actually ends up happening in this reaction is this. This species here is going to be able to add right here at the conjugated addition part. So the base is going to remove part of this right here. This CH is going to remove one of these H's. And so that C is this C, and so it's attached to C double bond O, O, R, and this is attached to C double bond O, O, R. Okay? So we've got that, and uh, that's where the, it's an aldehyde. Now here, if we had this as a ketone, where this is a CH3, the same sort of thing happens. This base can remove this proton here, and we end up attaching it here at this beta carbon. So this C is this C. It's attached to a carbonyl and another carbonyl. And so the thing that this forms is what's known as a 1,5-dicarbonyl. Uh, a and a 1,5-dicarbonyl is named that way because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons separating these two carbonyls. So it is a dicarbonyl. Okay, so that is like the basic part of the um, Michael reaction. In another video, I'll show you the mechanism for it and a sample. Okay, everybody, let's go over the reaction mechanism for the Michael reaction. So the first thing that happens here is some base ends up removing this proton from this dark dicarbonyl compound. It's the most acidic proton there. So the base is going to grab onto this and the electrons are going to go up to here. So that's going to leave us with our enolate anion. Okay, so no big surprise there. So we've got some other compound here. So we've got RCH, which is doubly bound to a carbon, CH, which is singly bound to a carbonyl R. Okay, so there is our thing that's got a beta carbon on it. So that's the beta carbon there. That's the one that we're interested in. So these electrons are going to attack at that beta carbon. These electrons are going to um, go over here, whoop, no, over here to the bond between this carbon and this carbon. These electrons are going to be kicked up here to the oxygen. Okay? So when that happens, a new bond is formed between this carbon here. So here's this carbon is also this carbon. I've tried to maintain that. So now it's here. So what else was attached to this carbon that it that it attacked? Well, it's got the R and the H, the, whatever the R group is, and an H. And then it was also attached to um, this CH, which formed a double bond with this carbon, which ended up having the oxygen there and an R group attached to it. Never mind the clock in the background. It's 10:15. At any rate, um, so now that's where we're at. So what ends up happening here? So we've got the water. So remember, we formed water, the conjugate acid of that base. So we've got water that's over here. So we have HOH. 
And these electrons are going to come back down to reform our carbonyl. And then these electrons are going to grab this hydrogen and give it back to here. So what we're going to end up forming is here is our C double bond O and our main product, the CH2. The second hydrogen came from right here. So that's where that ends up coming from. And so I hope you can see that this molecule or this part of the molecule here is still more or less intact what we had that was up here. Okay, so we basically just added this on at the beta carbon, okay, using the alpha carbon on this dicarbonyl. So we formed a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, again, a 1, 5 dicarbonyl. That is not the name of this, it's the kind of compound that it is. Okay, so that's the sort of thing that should come out of a Michael mechanism. So what kind of problems can you expect to see on something like that? Well, here's an example, problem 19A in Bruce. Okay, um, and the question is, if, if this is my product, then what was used to make it? So this right here, that's the new bond. So in my two, in what I started with, it must have been something like this. And uh, let's see here, double bond here double bond like that. So I must have had those two things there. Um, however, this compound right here is my dark is my dicarbonyl. This is my alpha carbon that th did the attacking. So that means that I must have attacked at the beta carbon, which is this one over here. And in order to make that attractive for attack, there should have been a double bond there. So these are the two things that did the reacting, and I probably had some base present as well. So those are the things that we're looking for in that reaction. And uh, yeah, so that would be a good answer for problem 19A. Those are the reagents that we would need to make this. So I'd recommend doing uh, 19B uh, and C as well. They'd be another really good addition to um, you know, figuring out what's going on here. All right, good luck.